Hey everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we've once again flipped the cab the other direction. Today, we're going to focus on trying to clean everything up as best we can. We're not going crazy and getting down to absolute bare metal. We're just trying to get the heavy rust off with some wire brushes, wire wheels, and then we're going to spray some acid on there to help kind of neutralize some things before we go and seam seal and eventually undercoat the underside of it with whatever. Um, so let's get started. Okay, taking a look underneath, this is some old undercoating kind of thing that's kind of flaking off. I want to try and get the most of that off, and then I just want to hit all this surface rust to try and get a somewhat of a clean surface that we're going to go and put the uh, sealant and whatnot on. I got a little bit of help from my oldest mechanic here today. He's been locked out of the garage because we've been doing a lot of welding. He's been very anxious to help again, so he's going to help me get this stripped down. So. Got everything stripped down now as far as I'm going to get it my main concern was get the flaky stuff off get whatever this undercoating was um, some of that flakes right off some I took an air chisel because it was easier just to pop it up um, I don't know what all that is it seems like that was original to the time of the truck and it was made out of the good stuff you know seal baby seal oil or something because some places it was really, really good, some it wasn't. If you guys know of a good way to get that off, let me know because it's inside the doors too. Um, I'd like a little easier way than taking an air chisel to it. But either way, um, everything's pretty well cleaned up as much as I'm going to do. Like I said, there's more I could get off, but I'm not going to get it all, so I'm not going to kill myself to do that. But it's cleaned up good enough that I think now we'll go and hit it with some acid. Um, two things I did use on that was a wire wheel and then this composite wheel. This composite wheel works much better than the wire wheel. 
but it's like twice the cost, so kind of stripped everything with the wire and then went back with the composite. So we'll get everything cleaned up and we'll get started with the asset. Based on the feedback I got from last video, we are going to go with port 15. With reading on port 15, one of the big things was was the prep. Um, even though it's designed to really kind of go over everything and be a good rust preventative and everything, it did still say to do the normal things, cleaning it up. One of them is treating the metal with their metal prep. All their metal prep is is just a fancy name for phosphoric acid. At least that's what I could tell from it, which I already happen to have some. Mine's just under a different label. So that's what we're going to use first. Pretty much we're just going to spray it on, let it set. I'm not a scientist, but my understanding is it neutralizes the rust that's happening and kind of changes the metal to give it a zinc coating that keeps it from continuing on. So that's really about as much as I can tell you. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there watching that can tell us more. So... Let's get spraying it on there. One other thing. This will definitely eat a hole in the concrete of your garage. So, plastic. That's the advice I have or else it puts nice dimples in your floor. Now that that's been sitting there for a couple minutes, you can see where it started to change the look of the metal. That's what we looked like before, and that's what it looks like after. That's, to my knowledge, what the zinc coating is doing there for it to help prevent the rust. Per the directions, it says to let sit and just keep reapplying and reapplying and reapplying. I think on a bare metal, you know, it just a coat or two works, but where it's real rusted, like things like this, I think that's the purpose of the reapplying is to penetrate deeper. They say that you can, you know, put rusty parts in just like a bucket of this and it'll eat all the rust off. I've never had any luck with that. Maybe I'm not patient enough or I didn't have it cleaned up enough, but either way, I'm just going to spray this down a couple more times. Uh, I don't think you need to sit here and watch me squirt a spray bottle. You guys get the gist of it. Next time, we're going to dive into the seam sealing, try and get everything buttoned up with the seams on the bottom end. Not sure if that'll be next week or the week after. Just kind of depend on how long it takes me to get that technique down and get all the seams covered. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.